Let's see if I got this right. I'm live! Oh my gosh! That's twice in a row. You guys might get tired of me, but I did tell you that you hadn't seen me in literally a month. So, you know, you hadn't seen me in a month. So I guess doing two of these in one day. This morning I did it for Is My Girl, and tonight it's for Inked Magazine. Hi guys! I got my first hello from Lewis, so thanks. Hi, how's it going? <laughs> so I'm laying in my bed and I was Googling like different gifts and stuff for Valentine's Day because Valentine's Day is coming up. And I thought, you know what? I'm going to talk Valentine's Day with you guys tonight. And not just Valentine's Day, but I'm going to talk like the worst Valentine's Day gifts ever. Ever. Hi, Ninja. Wait, wait, wait. You guys got to say hi to Ninja. 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 <sighs> Ninja's a little bit of a ham, and he's going to try to get on the video a lot because, I don't know, he really likes the camera. He's going to headbutt you and everything. <laughs> he's right here. So, hi, guys. Okay, so hold on. I'm going to take a second and share, share the page so that you guys can find my Facebook page, and then I'll be all set because, I don't know, if I, do, if I don't do that, then I mess it up. <laughs> then and then we're gonna talk Valentine's Day stuff okay so I don't know if you can see the live feed summary screen right but we're gonna talk worst Valentine's gifts ever okay so you got to think back no 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 Nala or no 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 ninja you have to think about all the years that you have had a Valentine's Day and you have to come up with the absolute worst ones <laughs> and I want to see them. I want you to put them on the comment screen so that I know what not to get my special someone. And then all of you guys know what not to get your special someone. <laughs> so that's that's the plan. Hi, guys. You guys are so super nice. Thanks, Aiden. All right, hold on. I just shared it to my page so that everybody can find it. Okay. So rule number one. Follow my Facebook, okay? Because, I don't know, you might like stuff on there. I posted some new stuff today. And, I don't know, rule number two. Um, you have to tell me your worst Valentine gift ever. And it could be received or given. All right? Received or given. And, <laughs> and rule number three, I'm going to pick out, like, the worst ones ever. The absolute worst ones ever. I'm going to pick them out. And um, I'm going to send five people a Valentine treat. Because it's almost Valentine's Day, and everybody needs some lovin'. That's the truth. Everybody needs some lovin'. There's like a song about that. Uh-oh. Diane says, you've never gotten a Valentine gift. You haven't dated in 13 years. Wait a second. Do you stop getting Valentines after you stop dating? Oh, my God. You're not married, are you? Oh, I'm sorry. No. Okay, see, even if you're married, you should give your significant other, your your wife, husband, you know, partner in today's age, yeah, you should give them a Valentine's treat. Sorry, you should. Mm -hmm. <laughs> you should. <laughs> hey, thanks. Okay, hold on. I'll see if I can put this down. If I put this down, the ninja's going to climb right up. There he is. Say hi to ninja. That's ninja. Yeah, he's kind of a ham. <laughs> he's kind of the ham. And there you go. The worst, okay, Charles said that he once received a pack of cigarettes for a Valentine gift. Are you serious? Wow, okay, like all the gifts that I was thinking of giving to my significant person, um, yeah, they all are better than this. Okay, so good. <laughs> you got a snake from your ex on Valentine's Day. Okay, so I was reading, like, you know how you can just Google and you put in Google and you put in, I want the top 10 best Valentine's Day gifts ever, right? So on there is like, you should propose on Valentine's Day. <coughs> Pardon me. You should send flowers on Valentine's Day. You should give jewelry on Valentine's Day. All those things are in the top 10. So then I Googled the worst Valentine's Day gifts ever. And here is the list, okay? Do not, under any circumstances, Give your female significant other a gym membership for Valentine's Day, okay? 
<laughs> okay? Do not actually do that. <laughs> do not give your significant other a gym membership for her birthday or for Valentine's Day because she may take that the wrong way. Like, what is he trying to say here? I thought I was pretty. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, and don't break up with anybody on Valentine's Day. Do it the day before or the day after. Come on. The day before or the day after. <laughs> there you go. Oh, thank you guys. You are super sweet. I can't believe so many of you guys have not had a Valentine's Day gift in years. Okay. Birthdays, Valentine's Day, Christmas, what other days of the year do you get presents? Like, there needs to be more of them, yes? <laughs> oh my gosh, Ed says he got chocolate-covered crickets from an ex who thought it would be something to experience together. Because you like to try new things? Chocolate-covered crickets. I've never had one, so you can't knock them till you try them, I guess. <laughs> yep 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 there you go okay I totally missed your name but somebody just said I buy my own Valentine's gifts that way I know I'm always happy <laughs> very very nice <laughs> Aw, that's too bad see okay I totally get it that not everybody's into Valentine's Day right so some people are like, oh, it's just another um, American holiday so that you can spend money for no particular reason. But it's also a really nice time to make somebody smile. Like me. <laughs> and come on, if you have somebody that you really love, don't you want to make them smile like more than just on their birthday and Christmas? Like you should be sending them flowers all the time. Like Valentine's Day shouldn't be an excuse. <laughs> Thank you, guys. There you go. He sent his ex a dozen roses. You cut the flowers off and sent the stems to her. Yeah, that's a pretty bad. That's a pretty bad Valentine gift. Yeah, you were you were pretty upset at her. It sounds like <laughs> that sounds like a very very upsetting Valentine's Day. I would not want to get flowers that had no flowers on them. Nope. Okay, next. So, there's, there's more. Okay, I, I googled the worst Valentine's Day gifts ever, right? Okay, so, how about buying a star for somebody? You know, I want you to name a star after me. Yes? No? It's the thought that counts? <laughs> See, I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. See, I think that you just... It's just, you, you gotta do something. Yeah, you gotta get, you have to do gifts for people that you love. You don't have to do it on Valentine's Day, but you gotta do it because you know what? There's somebody out there that you care for and they kind of need to hear it once in a while, don't you think? Every once in a while, I need to know that I'm cared for. So if somebody sent me flowers or like one of those little baskets of like apples and oranges and stuff, you know, or even a card that said Happy Valentine's Day with like a kiss that exploded out the front of it. Come on, that would be really cool. There you go. Okay, that is not the worst gift. Steven, I'm not asking for the best gift in Valentine's Day. I'm asking for the worst gift. The best gift would probably be a romantic dinner and like flowers and rose petals everywhere. You know, stuff like that. <sighs> so, yes. And, and you're like, I've been let down many times in my life. Are you guys all cynical tonight? Oh, no. Robert said he rented a room, had some roses and whipped cream, and, like, he was ready to just make it an over-the-top Valentine's, and then she didn't show up. Robert, I am pretty... That is, that's a pretty bad one. Yeah, let me tell you. Like, that's a good gift and a really bad timing. <laughs> really bad timing. <laughs> so there you go. Okay, well that's all I wanted to know. All I wanted to know was I did not want to get the wrong gift for my significant other. I don't think you have to do a gift on Valentine's Day, so I'm not saying you're a horrible person. But if you have somebody that you love, like, 
everybody else, if, if you have like a girl that works in an office with a lot of other women and you don't get her flowers, you are pretty much sleeping on the couch that night. Just saying. Because I worked in an office for like 15 years before I started my um, present career path. <laughs> like 15 years I worked in an office. Maybe not that many. I was a CPA for seven years. I probably worked in an office five years before that. Five plus seven is 12. Somewhere around that. 12 years or so in an office. And on Valentine's Day, everyone got flowers. And if you were the one person that didn't get flowers, your man is sleeping on the couch. He's not getting laid in like a month. You're going to give him the cold shoulder. He's not getting dinner made for him for like the rest of the year. Like you're in trouble, mister. <laughs> So I'm just saying, yeah, <laughs> I'm just saying, don't mess that up. <laughs> so thank you guys for joining me on Inked After Dark tonight. I don't even know what I'm going to do with myself tonight. I'm in bed um, yesterday. Hi, Ninja. <laughs> yesterday. <laughs> Yesterday, I watched the Super Bowl at my house. I was cheering on the Eagles, and yep, they won. So, go me. Um, and <laughs> so that was really fun. I had a Super Bowl party. And, <laughs> and so today, I'm kind of like lounging around. So, I, a lot of you guys don't know, but this year for me, I was, I, or this particular month, I've been off work for four weeks because I had a little surgery done. And so today was the very first day out. Big guns coming back. It's been one month since I worked out. These little, these little guns need to be big guns. So I got to work out a lot now. <laughs> but yeah. <laughs> so I got a bad gift from Ninja. Come on, Holmes. I did not get a bad gift from Ninja, although I haven't bought him a gift either. Hey, Ninja. What do you want for Valentine's Day? You want, like, some neck rubs like this? You want some... <laughs> See, I'm pretty sure he'll be happy. <laughs> I'm pretty sure if I do this, <laughs> he's going to be pretty happy. <laughs> so I don't know would you like neck rugs rubs for your for your valentine's day gift I'm pretty sure it would be okay anyway that's all I wanted to, I wanted to know everybody's worst gift so that I don't repeat it and I have to give a good gift I think I'm just gonna give maybe I might send a picture like my favorite picture of the two of us or a favorite picture of me that I think that that person will like who knows I think I might do something like that because what do you get dudes? There's a lot of dudes on here. What do you get dudes for Valentine's Day? Mm-hmm. <laughs> so there you go. Oh, thank you guys. He is. Dave, Dave Brown Ninja is a pushover for the neck rubs. He's pretty much easily pleased. Yes, he is easily pleased by neck rubs. <laughs> Hi. <laughs> I'm I'm hanging out on my bed and tonight I'm lounging around because I I don't know I I had lots of people over yesterday. <sighs> I had lots of people over yesterday, so tonight is my off night, okay? I'm not doing nothing. I'm not doing nothing. I'm gonna sit here in bed and relax. <sighs> <laughs> there you go. No, 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 Daniel. Whoa, whoa, whoa. I am I want the worst Valentine's Day gifts ever. I'm pretty sure my man would be really happy if I arrived with nothing but a bow on me. That is not a bad gift. That is a great gift. <laughs> yes, yes. Worst gifts. Worst gifts ever is what I was looking for. Oh, you're so sweet, Jamie. All right, fresh catnip for Ninja. Okay, I hear that. Maybe maybe a little present for him. Is that right? <laughs> there you go. Okay, Brian, thank you. Appreciate that. <laughs> yeah. 
Are you in the tub recovering from last night? Well, you shouldn't have climbed up on my table and danced and danced that night. That's the second time in a row. It's pretty amazing. <laughs> you shouldn't have climbed up on my kitchen table and danced. Now tonight you have to sit and recover. That's okay. On video. I have a video recording. You are my new spirit animal, Deanna. <laughs> Yeah. The amazing truth right there. Frankie said a bad gift. Yep, a bad gift would be forgetting to give a gift on Valentine's Day. Agreed. Agreed. All right. Well, that's it. That's it. That's all I had for the night. I just wanted to share that with you guys and hope that you guys would have some fun tonight with it. Make you think. Make you think about all the people that you love out there. And, I don't know, say something nice to them. Send, um, send them a snap that has the little hearts that are drizzling down from the top. Um, I don't know. Give them a kiss on the cheek or lips. But not if you have, like, a restraining order against you because that's bad. So don't do that if you're not supposed to. But if you're supposed to, do it. Yeah, they'll like it. <laughs> there you go. Brett, I'm 36. But thanks. <laughs> but thanks. So the rest of you guys, have a great night. Think about, I don't know, that was it. I had nothing else to talk about tonight. And it kind of sounded, it. you know what? I'm kind of hungry for a box of chocolates now. And I don't even like chocolate. But when you start talking about Valentine's Day and you see those little Valentine's Hearts boxes, it just makes you want to get one and then just go eeny, meeny, miny, mo and pick out one of the chocolates and take a big bite and see what's inside. So. <laughs> so there you go. All right. To the rest of you guys, have a great night. You can find me on everywhere. Google my name. You're welcome. Oh, I mean, you can find me on Facebook and Is My Girl and all those other things. So, um, see you later. That's it. Good night. <laughs> all right, bye, guys. Mwah.